Welcome back my friends, it's Tack. Today we're going to talk about protecting yourself. Now in this day and age, we know stuff's all crazy and stuff. So it's nice to be able to protect yourself. But what about your kids? Now you can't really send them to school looking like this. You know, with a full bulletproof vest, that would just look weird and, you know, the school probably wouldn't go for it. So what can you do? Now it'd be great to suit them up like that, wouldn't it? Then you wouldn't have to worry about them as much. You're still gonna worry, but, so you're gonna need something discreet. What's one thing every kid has with them? A darn backpack. Heck, even I carry one every day to work just to put my crap in. So, some people make some inserts for your backpacks. Cause that's, you know, you could use this as a shield to hide behind. At least it's some kind of cover. So let's take a look at an insert. So the insert I got slips right into your backpack, comes right out. Now this is uh, threat level 3A. I'll give you a couple close-ups just so you can read that. This is where I got it from. Here's the dimensions, 16 by 20 by 3 inch, 1.8 pounds. And it doesn't even feel like that. You know, it's nice and slim, so it's not going to get in the way of their books in their lunch box or whatever else they got. And it is actually, that's pretty big size. That's like the size of a bulletproof vest, at least in the front. So I got this from Platinum International Goods. I put a link down below so you can check out their website. Now this is very reasonably priced, $89. I also seen they had it on eBay and they were going for around 85 or so. Now threat level 3A, most people know the rating but it'll take a lot of different pistol calibers, most pistol calibers, up to a decent velocity as well. Now, if you look at some ratings, some are a little different than others. Uh, some 9mm ratings are up to 1470, 1400. They're usually around 1400. So it'll take 9mm up to that, 357 SIG up to 1400, 44 mag 1400, 357 mag up to 1400. 40 S and W, 45 ACP. And ninety dollars ain't much for insurance to save your kid's life, you know. Uh, your kid's life is priceless. It's worth a lot more than a million dollars. So if you can do one small thing to protect your child, it's worth it. So let's go outside and shoot the heck out of this thing. Okay, I got it set up seven yards down there. That's usually the going rate. And I'm gonna start with a 38 special. This is a 125 grain Federal Full Metal Jackets out of my Smith & Wesson 586 LCOP. Well, let's take a look. Take a close up, there's a 38 Special round. I can actually feel the bullet. It's right there. It barely made a little mark and completely nothing on the back. So let's step it up to 9 mil. Next, we're gonna use my SIG 938 9mm, and I'm using Winchester 115 grain full metal jacket white box. Let's give it a shot. So here's the nine millimeter shot right under the 38 special. Take a look at the back, nothing at all. And I can't feel the bullet. I think it fell, oh, there it is. So it hit there and went down inside the pocket. Next, we're going to try the Wather PPQ 40S and W, and this time we're trying out a 165 grain full metal jacket Federal white box. Let's take a look. Yeah, it blew the tape off. There's the 40 cal. Nothing on the back. Looked like it bulged it a little bit, but not bad at all. I don't feel the bullet again. It's got to be down there somewhere. But she took it. It did rip the cover a little bit. I think that was after the nine. It kind of ripped. But And I tried to use something soft. I got a bunch of clothes packed in there because I wanted something because the humans aren't solid. So you want something that kind of takes the shock a little bit like a human. So that's what I did. So it took the 40 S and W. Let's step it up some more. Next firearm we're going to use is the HEK USP Tactical 45 ACB. And in here I'm using Winchester White Box 230 grain full metal jackets. Let's see how she does. 
Ooh, that rocked it pretty good, huh? Okay, there we are, pretty much on target. That's like my most accurate pistol. Well, is that it? No. Let's see for any, oh, it did, starts ripping it. You know, you're not supposed to shoot these things 17 times, but hey, we're doing it. But no pass-throughs at all. That is damn good. Yeah, it bulged it. Yeah. So, wow, four bullets so far. Not too bad. Now, this time out of the 586L comp, we have a Federal Jacketed Hollow Point 158 grain 357 Magnums. Let's see what kind of damage we can do. Ooh, that put a wallop on it. Okay, a little left to where I wanted to hit it. But there she is. I think I can see the... No, it must have fell down in there again. More importantly, let's see if any pass through. Nope, I can feel the bulge right there. But damn, took that too. Oh man, we gotta try something else now. Time to step it up some more. This time we're gonna use the SIG P220 Dark Elite 10 millimeter. And in here we're using the, uh, I think it's Remington 180 grain full metal jackets. That's what it is. Let's give it a shot. Woohoo! Alright, let's see how we did. Oh man, I shot freaking high, damn it! Wow, yeah, it's pushing some stuff out. Let's see, any pass through, most important, nothing. Awesome, man. Yeah, I shot way too freaking high. I was aiming for right here, and okay, I'm not the most accurate. You can definitely feel the bulge, but man, she's still held together, and that's two bullets really close i can't remember which one that was i think that was the 45 acp i think i'll have to look back on the tape but yeah nothing all right well we got one more thing to throw at it let's do it but before we do that i just spotted something i think this is the 10 mil look at that wow full metal jacket totally mushroomed it i think that's the 10 mil Wow, I can't believe that. That is awesome. We well, you know what time it is. Time for the big gun, the Smith & Wesson 629 44 Magnum. And this time we're using Remington 240 grain jacketed hollow points. Holy crap. I forgot how much this thing kicks. Now I'm hoping I did a good centered hit because I kind of rushed that a little bit. Okay, there she is, right on the bottom. Oh man, I actually see some jacket in there. That caught it. Look, it looked like it put a little... Nothing else did that. Here's the moment of truth. Look at that. She took it. Like I said, it's starting to rip and stuff, but not one penetrated. How many did we have total? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven different rounds. I didn't even shoot here, man. We should shoot it some more. Boy, that did really well. But wait, there's more. I forgot one gun. I had it on my hip, so I totally forgot about it. My SIG Pro SP2340 and 357 SIG. And we're going to be shooting a Winchester White Box 125 grain full metal jackets. I know it's a little declimactic because we already shot the biggest one. I forgot, so let's rip it up one more time. Ah, the smell of gunpowder. I love it. Oh, all right, dead center. Yeah, let's see. Nothing, nothing. That is awesome, man. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight rounds total, not one single pass through. So that was pretty interesting. I've never got to shoot Kevlar before, so that was really cool. And to tell the truth, I was pretty skeptical. Just from the thickness, 0.3 of an inch thick, that's not very thick. I know, threat level 3A, blah, blah. But man, it was hard to believe until I actually did it. I've seen the videos myself, but to do it yourself and to actually see it in real life, it's totally different. So I marked some of the targets, as you can see. Which ones were which. And like I said, man, it took it well. The only thing that even bulged was this 10 mil way up here. And I think that's just because it was right next to the 40 cal and near the edge. And even the 44 didn't bulge it. It did, but not as much as that. I think it's just because 
consecutive shots right next to each other. But that's saying something. Seven shots. Man, I wanted to shoot it even more. So, 89 bucks. Totally worth it. Uh, I would totally give this a big thumbs up. I have to admit, that was a lot of fun shooting the crap out of this. So I want to give a big thanks to Platinum International Goods for hooking me up with this plate. I contacted them. I said, hey man, can I test out one of your plates? And they sent me one, so I was glad I could do it. Like I said, I was a little scared. I was hoping it would, <laughs> it would live, you know. But there you go. The proof is in the pudding, man. And it's awesome. I'm going to have to get one for myself just so I can put a fresh one in my backpack. Because I definitely want one. This is a, a really good investment. 89 bucks. Come on. Like I said before, how much is your life worth? You can't put a price on that. You can't put a price on your kid's life. I'm definitely getting me another one. So I'll put a link down below where you can get yourself one of these or one of your family members. Definitely a good investment. As always, good to see my people. And until the next time we meet.